Whether or not you believe the planet is getting hotter, there's no question the debate is. And a big part of it is whether or not global warming can and does create stronger hurricanes. Florida State Shaw Professor of Geography James Elsner wanted to bring some higher perspective to the debate, literally. What we did is we looked at satellite images, uh, images from uh, the um, from, from space basically and uh, we were able to see these satellite pictures going back for about 26 years and that gave us a fairly consistent record of tropical cyclones. The conclusion Elsner and his team reached has drawn national and international attention just as intense as the storms they've studied and if you've picked up a copy of Time or Nature lately you know what that conclusion is. We looked at the last 26 years of uh, data over the globe and we looked at all the tropical cyclones that formed and we, what we found was that the strongest tropical storms are actually getting stronger. Generally the category fours and fives on that Saffir Simpson scale. That's Katrina great. would be in that group, so would Gustav. Elsner's research is consistent with the heat engine theory of cyclone intensity. As seas warm, the ocean has more energy that can be converted into wind. Elsner's not about to call his group's work conclusive, but he's excited to add his voice to the conversation. Our research adds uh, a bit of uh, compelling evidence that uh, as climate changes, we can expect to see some signal in these extreme events. What we were able to show for the first time is a connection between the theory of tropical cyclone intensification and the data. The research showed that the strongest tropical storms increased from an average of 140 miles per hour in 1981 to 156 miles per hour in 2006. For FSU Headlines, I'm Mike Gentine.